funky. Hey guys, it's me, so welcome back to another video or big time rush video for this week. Guys, look, if you guys see what's behind me, this is a, a little back setup I did yesterday. Yeah, I thought it'd be cool to like make big time rush videos behind this thing or you know something if I like tell a story or whatever. <laughs> so uh, this is really cool, just like all the stuff I got. <laughs> But anyway guys, for this week's video, um, it's kind of be like another story time. You guys really love these story time videos, but it's it's all about my Big Time Rush concert experience. It's been a few days after the concert. It was really cool. Another great experience was just amazing. This was my second concert and it was really epic and there were like so many things going on and I'm going to be telling you all in this video. So before I start, you got to make sure you guys hit the subscribe button, turn on the post notification bell for new videos every Sunday. And make sure you guys watch, before you watch this, watch my other experience concert from the Forever Tour. It will be in the description below. Make sure you go do that. So let me get talk to you about the whole concert now. in general did not start until probably 9 or 10 not really sure so we left around it was me and my mom my, me and my mom went to the concert and we left around probably 3 30 and we didn't get there until like 4 or something I really don't remember then we had to wait like an hour and a half because like the gates didn't open just for not VIP VIP got to get in, go in early because they have the package, but I didn't have that kind, so I had to wait half an hour, and they didn't open until five thirty. So we just stood in line for a while, and it was really hot that day. I was sweating, but they did have like one of those like water fans to cool myself down, so I thought that was pretty cool. So soon later, when the, finally the gates were open, we went through security. They do they were just doing bags. Like scanning, they really didn't do <clears throat> anything else. <clears throat> and later I got in. I have my poster. It, it's right up there. You guys can see it. You guys saw me make it in this video. Not in this video, but the last video, yes. It was so cool. I got to actually brought it to the concert for the first time. It was like my first, like, I brought a poster to a concert, so it's pretty cool. We didn't go to our seats just yet. We decided, you know, to grab some food and just like we got pizza and we just sat down and ate it. <laughs> My mom said like the pizza was really bad because like the um, the crust was all like sort of like burned and tastes funny. I kind of liked it, but she she didn't. After a little bit of eating, um, we finally went down to our seat, and I was really shocked of where I was. I was like really almost close. I was like in section. Well, I was in section two, row eight. So it was like a little bit up close. I was like really like excited like oh, oh my god. god oh my god like I was like freaking out I'm like it's like the best seat ever like what the heck I sat down like oh my god mom I was I was just like talking to her over and over like how I'm excited I am because like I get excited every time someone mentions it or when I go to see Big Time Rush it happens every time but before the show even happened I filmed like a couple TikToks um, I took pictures like in the floor section in the front and like I recorded um, me like recording like the entire venue and like showing the instruments on the stage. Look, so we're here. This is what you're seeing. This is like a whole view. Then this. This is the stage. That is amazing. <laughs> The concert did not start just yet. We had two opening acts of the show. We had Jax and we had Max. So Jax was up first. And um, she came in all excited to see us like, how's it going California? 
like, and she was like playing her song like, do it for the 90s. Tell them that we do it for the 90s. <laughs> A really good song it was like really like makes you want to dance because like a lot of people not a lot of people were like up on their seats some people were but they were like dancing you know and then she started playing um crazy ex-girlfriend or boyfriend Basically. <laughs> then, um, she, I think, I don't remember what the song was, but I think she, she, there was a song where she was, like, on her piano, and she was, like, playing this song with, like, it's about, like, the relationship between, like, her mom and her dad and stuff. Then, I know there was another song, but I don't remember what it was called, but I do know the other one that, I think it was the last song, it was called Victoria's, like, she, Victoria's Secret, like, Victoria's Secret, yes. <laughs> having the time of her life like she was enjoying it and then she came down to the floor and there was like there was like a bunch of like little kids or like other other old people just coming down so they can get like a close shot with her She was amazing. Then we had to wait another hour. And then nine, Max came out. And you know the places that I did. And if you know the damage that I did. I'll put you in a minute. No, 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 no. He got the moves. Like, he was swirling his arms around. Told us a story. 
story of how like he met Baytime Rush for the first time. He said he met him in a while filming a movie called Rags or something. I never seen the movie. A lot of people were literally screaming because I guess they saw it. But still, that was like a long year ago movie and I wasn't huge on Nickelodeon as a kid. I never watched it. But yeah, I knew he was just playing some of his old songs and like one of his songs would be doing like this. We did that a lot. <laughs> I, I love it. But yeah, that was really a wrap of Max. He did amazing. <laughs> I'm proud of him. Hey, California, I'm Max. <laughs> so then we had to wait it probably like 20, 30 minutes until Big Time Rush came on and you know, um, they were setting up their instruments and stuff, and we, I actually saw, we saw, um, they turn around just, like, photographer Aaron, who was, really, like, recording them for, like, they do this, like, big time rush little tape, vlog little things. I took a couple pictures like behind the stage or they were just, like on the monitor they were like showing like you can get to merch and like hashtag your like CG can't get enough tour like hashtag and stuff I just realized I didn't do that in my post months later it started getting dark the blue smoke was coming white smoke and all that stuff <laughs> start to rise up on their little platform. Just start singing Can't Get Enough straight away. And I was literally screaming. <laughs> really, I was like, oh my god! Like that. They were doing some dance break or something. I don't know what the dance they were doing, but I do remember that. <laughs> the next song was Elevate. And um, I'm really not a huge fan of this song. I don't listen to it that much, but. I think my favorite part of the whole song is when they do like this move. <laughs> but yeah, I was like enjoying the song at least. The next song was Song for You. There's another pretty girl. I do, everyone really loves this. I did the walk with the microphones. And like, 
I do remember, like, they rehearsed it for the first time, like, two years ago, when they, like, first started coming back for their, like, first concert back. <laughs> and, like, I remember I saw a video on their TikTok, like, rehearsing the song, but they never actually performed it. Like, two years. Until now. And I was like, oh my god, thank god they're they did it. Like, I've been waiting for so long. And I bet everyone else was too. So it was it was great. And let me say, I zoomed in on Logan a lot. Because he's my favorite. Just letting you know. Then I got a video of Big Time, which is like guitar players. And it might be a little too much. So he's not just our guitarist, he's our musical director. And he's our dear friend. And boy, does he love shiny things. Can you make some noise for Cody? So Big Time Rush had to go backstage for a quick change and you know they were getting ready for their other uh, song Waves. beginning of the song and it was off the charts man <laughs> song they were um playing weekends and uh what i like about this song is like this is probably one of my favorites of their new album another life and i, I listen to this song all the time i dance to it this like it's it was so much fun. It's like a really like relaxing, cruising along song. Then probably at the end, almost at the end, um, Kendall, Logan, James went backstage for a second and let Carlos have his own ukulele solo moment out there on stage. <laughs> solo tour it was it was incredible how it was just like that meanwhile during that song um i hold up this picture right here and apparently out of nowhere again logan saw it and i couldn't breathe so then, after all over again, they play one of my favorite songs, Any Kind of Guy. Any kind of guy you want, girl, that's the guy I'll be. Turn myself upside down. Yes, I will! Yes, I will! It was like the acoustic version, so they had like played two acoustic songs. And then out of nowhere, they sang the boyfriend song for literally no reason, which they don't sing that until literally the end. <laughs> then they play Ask You Tonight, which is the most romantic song of their new album. You're the only one I wanna love, the only one this I promised you. That sounds alright, I might just ask you tonight. Like soon later, we start doing like holding our flashlights. And we had our flashlights on and we were like swirling them around and 
it was really beautiful and pretty. And then soon later, like, James started recording it and, like, post on his story like he always does. And then I got, like, a little picture of Logan with like, little dimple showing. Then again, Logan saw me again. Oh. 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 Real loud. So then their other song, their Same song, was... Forget you now, and the song started with like a little like opera, like oh. Yeah, here we go. And I saw how the song was made. They made that song like almost a year ago. They wrote it, everything, and it finally came out as a part of the album. But that's how the song starts. And then like there was lasers going on. It was, it's like all green lasers, everything. And the boy and the boys start coming up and walking to their places. something they made us finish the lyrics and stuff it was amazing everyone in the whole audience sang the whole like nothing even matters like everyone in the whole then mostly this is everyone's favorite part of the whole show worldwide and I have this story that I will never forget so a lot of people were making signs and just like holding them up and just like see and see the guys would like pick one or go on, go on stage with them and I was like really freaking out right now because like I hope he picks me because like the sign up there you guys see it in my last video so so I was holding it right and I was like trying to get Logan to notice it and stuff and then I started actually started sitting I stand up on my chair but then um Someone told me to get down, which that ruined my life, okay. But then I hold it up still. He did look at me for a second. Then he looked at someone else and just picked them. Logan told Wire Girl was actually like two rows away from me. And it was like a pink sign that said like certified WWG or something. I think that's what it said or just Worldwide Girl. And I was like, dang it, like I was literally just a smidge away. I was literally so dang close. Maybe it just looked and picked me because they maybe just like that made like I was really young and stuff. Maybe they just picked four white girls that are like 
in their like twenties or like much older. But you know, it was alright. I give I try to suck it up and give my support and congrats to my worldwide girls. <laughs> James has his, had his own piano solo moment. I feel like every each of the guys had their own like solo moment. Kendall's next. Just wait. And the rest of the guys came up. Oh, here comes Kendall. of the time and they showed us like a little memory video of them like years ago <laughs> you know like from 2012 13 just like memorable memory videos and stuff and I got a couple pictures like of Kendall Logan <laughs> favorite for the next song we were all chanting big time rush 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 mostly every show probably everyone does that basically gives them motivation you know and then they started playing um a new song that they added called what's well, not new but like an old song they added famous <laughs> loves that and then like it was really good until Logan did his famous rap which everyone really wanted and really loves Then they did Shot in the Dark. And Kendall had his own solo moment with his little friend Guitar. I totally forgot to explain this. I don't remember when or when they say it, but I remember them saying, Kendall is going to get married soon. Carlos James said it. Everyone was really psyched about it because he got um, engaged a year ago, so I think it was really cool. Probably the wedding month probably will be next year, 2024. We'll see. Then while Carlos, Logan, Kendall went backstage, James um, stayed on stage and like introduced like our guitar players and stuff. So he's not just our guitarist, he's our musical director and he's our dear friend. And boy does he love shiny things. Can you make some noise for Cody? Showing them like a little, a 
whole show of them playing and stuff. Wanna play a little something for the crowd? I don't remember what song it was. I think it was Confetti Falling. I'm not sure yet. Then, um, they were doing like a little drum moment beat. And then, like, Shane's like made us do a chant like, Big Time Rush, or like, Big Time Rush, or I don't know how I said it. Big Time Rush! started playing and I have this funny video of Logan and Carlos just enjoying themselves being friends <laughs> confetti falling was amazing confetti was just like blown up all over the venue and it was so amazing I got a cool picture of me you know with my hands in the air just enjoying all of the confetti it was it was really pretty and a little bit got him in my mouth then they started playing um their intro the theme song and stuff then they showed us like this little like clock character and it was so cute at big time rush <laughs> Then they played Windows Down, which I didn't get the video of. Actually, no, I do have the video of Windows Down. I actually made a mistake. They were right behind, like the other, like in the back. Like I didn't know where they were. I don't know how they got there so fast. But yeah, they just sneaked through the audience. <laughs> She got to go down to the floor and actually see them up close for the first time ever. And like I never had that feeling before. Only VIP only had that experience before. I haven't. It was the first time ever. I was like, my eye was only on Logan. That was basically it. <laughs> <laughs> Most of the whole concert, it was mostly my eye was on Logan. But um, I do remember during Boyfriend, Until I Forget About You, he actually noticed me because I actually um showed him an old picture of himself like totally young it was not it was not these two it was another one I had on my phone and he, he saw he nod and like point at me I'm like oh my god but but I didn't get it on camera <laughs> Until I Forget About You was always off the charts. It's always hype all the time. There had there was like smoke coming out. It was amazing. Brown up pose, took a bow, and they and that was the end of the show and I was like freaking out I was really happy and like I told my mom like oh my god was I always this immature oh I think Logan probably knows me like four to five times much more than last year what the heck like i was screaming panicking and happy at the same time on um, before the car at home i took a video of myself crying well sort of crying and being happy <laughs> oh <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> i had to get a video of me crying i just had to <laughs> and yeah and then we didn't get home until like 11. So, yep, that's pretty much the whole concert. So guys, that is pretty much my whole story experience of my second BTR concert. And uh, it was really so, so much fun. I had a great time. If they do another tour again, 
um, of course I'm going to go to it. If they do it again and again, wh whenever I'm going, it, it doesn't matter. Even when they do their so own solo tours, always. But yeah, guys, that's all for today's video. If you guys really enjoy this, um, make sure you guys give this video a huge thumbs up. If you guys like Big Time Rush, do it. The next video, there will be two more Big Time Rush videos you guys receive. And um, that's it for today. Follow all my social media. Link in the description below. And I'll be seeing you guys next Sunday for another Big Time Rush video. Bye!